Rovin, also known as Rovino in Italian, the official second language in this city that historians believe dates to the third century. Part of the Kingdom of Italy until 1947, its Italian roots go back to the Roman and Venetian empires. In other words, there's a lot of history in this town. It's a small city that grew up around a fishing village with a ton of beautiful coastline around it to explore, turning it into a popular place for people to escape the scorching summer heat of Zagreb. We checked into our digs, a very old fourth floor walk up with views of the narrow street below. I am told that that is an original head of Garibaldi there. I, I, I mean, not the original head, I mean an original head fact simile. Well, you know what I mean. It's amazing what you can get for the money in a region like Istria, and this two-bedroom loft apartment was the perfect home base. The best thing about visiting an ancient town like Rovin is exploring the medieval streets and alleyways, and we wasted no time getting to it. Eventually, you'll end up on the gorgeous waterfront, where we ended the day with locals and visitors alike cooling off in the waters of the Adriatic. Istria is a region known for agriculture and famous as one of the richest producers of foodies gold, the truffle. And that's the focus at the farmer's market here. There's a great farmer's market here at the waterfront and it's very close to Motovun, which is kind of the center of truffle activity in Istria. I sampled some truffle tapenade. Oh my God. That is so good. All that agriculture means one thing great food, and we planned something special for our evening, a romantic boat ride with a view of the old town from the water. We were serenaded by a guitarist crooning classic folk songs as the sun went down. It was admittedly a little on the touristy side for our taste, but hey, what's wrong with a little cheese in our diet? The experience culminated with a festive dinner party in an ancient canoba where we were treated to music and seafood served in traditional Istrian style. Now you're talking some shrimp risotto. All in all, it was a fantastic evening. A huge draw for us here was that Rovin is surrounded by great beaches, and we jumped at the opportunity to explore the Dalmatian coastline on foot. The beaches near town have fantastic facilities, Perfect for families and couples looking to relax and have everything you need right there. But for the more intrepid traveler, there are more secluded and pristine beaches further along the trail. That's where we were headed. I enjoyed every meal in Rovin, and here's where I ate. We'd start the day with an early morning run for turnovers at Il Fornaio Bakery. And the earlier the better. <laughs> Still warm out of the oven. Perfect. Following that, we'd head over to hands down the best coffee shop in town, Cafe Augusto. It's hidden in a warren of twisting alleyways, so a GPS may be helpful. If you're persistent and use Google Maps, you will find it. The coffee drinks here are perfection. The sandwich is delicious and the vibe artsy and relaxed. If street food's your thing, there's good pizza and kebab to be had. I grabbed one at Donner Kebab, right on the main drag. Look at that. That is Donner Chicken Kebab. It seemed I'd bitten off a little more than I could chew. Almost. Passes the taste test. Perfect food for the perfect night. Don kebab, baby. If you're looking for a great meal that won't blow your budget, try the Fish House, where we enjoyed a great meal and had enough left over for gelato after. These meals together, the two of us, was 20 bucks, including tip and everything. That is a pretty good pricing for what we're getting here. It's gonna be good. No stay in Rovin is complete without experiencing daybreak at St. Euphemia's Church. It dates to the late 1600s, and it's easy to slip into what I call the traveler's time machine and feel like you're walking in the shoes of someone who may have passed through here 300 years ago. 
Grovin is a town with all the atmosphere, fun, and chill vibe that any traveler could ask for.